Kevin Raposo here with speedyphotographer.com and today we're going to look at five different tools that use artificial intelligence or AI to make you a better photographer. AI is a very popular term right now but for a lot of people it comes with a negative connotation. Many photographers see it as something that takes the human element out of a very creative profession. But from my perspective AI powered technologies are changing photography for the better and you're going to see exactly how in this video. Affiliate links for all of the tools that I'm about to show you can be found in the description below. And if you're willing to use those links, I'd greatly appreciate it. Now, the first tool I want to show you is Denoise AI in Lightroom, released in 2023. Now, before I say anything else, have a look at what this feature can do. Some of these examples of noise reduction are honestly mind-blowing, and the results look even more impressive when we compare them to the standard noise reduction sliders in Lightroom that we've been using for over a decade. Here's a great example from my own personal experience. I took this picture in 2019 with a Canon 5D Mark IV at ISO 20,000. The stadium was pitch black and the grain in this shot completely ruined the picture, but I was forced to deliver it to my client because it was an important trophy presentation. So I did my best with the luminance and the color noise reduction sliders, but you can see that the noise is still pretty noticeable. But now have a look at what Denoise AI can do here. When we compare these two pictures, we can see that Denoise AI retains almost all of the detail in the facial features while doing a better job of noise reduction. This looks like it was taken at ISO 2000 and not ISO 20,000. And as a photographer, this opens the door to using more affordable camera gear without having to worry so much about low light performance. I've been able to basically go back in time and restore pictures that were taken years ago on the Canon R6 and the Canon 7D Mark II, which aren't quite as good as the cameras that we have now in low light. Now our second tool is Imagine AI, released in 2021. This is an AI powered software that can automatically edit your pictures for you based on your personal editing preferences. You have to start by feeding the AI with at least 3,000 of your previous edits from a Lightroom catalog, and then you have to wait up to 72 hours for it to analyze and build a profile. But once your profile is built, the rest is pretty easy. You can open up a new project by filling out some key details, and then upload the pictures that you want to be edited from a Lightroom catalog. In my experience, it takes about five to seven minutes for Imagine AI to edit, probably about 50 pictures. And once the edits are complete, you can download the changes back into your Lightroom catalog. You'll see here that the image history ends up changing to reflect the new AI edits. Quite honestly, I was a little skeptical of how well this software could actually work because editing tends to be a very creative process. But honestly, and I swear nobody's paying me to say this, my opinion has changed. Have a look at these examples. First, you can see the original photo, then you can see my edited version, and then finally, you can see the AI edited version. This is pretty good. I would be completely happy to submit this AI edit to any one of my clients. And here's another example of a real estate listing. First, you have the original photo, then you have my edited version, and then finally you have the AI edited version. Once again, I thought that Imagine AI did a pretty good job. I can honestly say after testing a bunch of different pictures with the software that if you're in a hurry or you don't have the interest in editing your own stuff, Imagine AI can get you about 85% of the way there. Assuming, of course, that you have a clearly defined preference and style. In my case, I had tens of thousands of images to feed the algorithm with, and as a result, it was very accurately able to replicate my edits. But if you don't have that kind of a library available to you, or you just want to start using the program immediately, there are some presets available as well, if you prefer that option. Now, speaking of editing, if you want to deep dive into more advanced Lightroom techniques or learn more about photography in general, I wanted to give a quick 15 second shout out to my online photography school, Speedy Photographer, that can help you to turn your hobby into a business. No wasted time, no gimmicks, no screaming at the camera. I'm all about helping you learn quickly and efficiently, allowing you to get back behind your gear and making money doing what you love. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. Links in the description below. Next up, our third tool is the Generative Fill in Photoshop, which was released in 2023. This is probably one of the most well-known AI photography tools on the market, so much so that I actually have a full tutorial video on my channel. Generative Fill can be used to create entire pictures from nothing, matching the perspective, lighting, and the style of anything you throw at it. I took this tiny thumbnail of a friend and I asked Photoshop to put him in a completely new environment and some of the results were incredible. Generative fill can also be used to add or repair existing elements in your picture. Here you can see that I was able to add a very believable pool to the backyard which perfectly matched the perspective and the lighting of the scene. And here you can see that I was able to remove an ugly wire in seconds, literally just by selecting it. Both of these are very tedious photoshopping 
jobs that would have taken me hours to do in the past with the clone stamp tool. Now, the fourth tool I wanna show you is an AI culling software known as Aftershoot, released in 2021. When it comes to any type of photography where you're firing off dozens of similar shots, so think weddings, sports, wildlife, or anything where your camera is in burst mode, this can save you quite a bit of time. Let me prove it to you. I usually shoot about 800 to 1,000 pictures when I cover a soccer game. I then narrow that down to about 50 of my best shots, and in total, it'll take me maybe 20 or 30 minutes of work to do that. But if I run these exact same pictures through Aftershoot, quickly set up my preferences with image similarity, grouping, and so on, I can narrow down a similar number of pictures with zero effort in about 10 minutes. And in my experience, I found that the AI did a pretty good job. It wasn't quite as good as Imagine AI, but I'll show you a couple of examples. First off, here's a good one. You can see here that I took about six pictures in a row of this player trying to control a ball that's being crossed. After shoot correctly identified that the picture I should keep was this one, and if I were to pick it out myself, I'd completely agree. But it isn't perfect, so here's a bad example where the AI also thought that this was a great shot for whatever reason. So I guess it just goes to show you that you should still go back and check the selections instead of trusting the program completely. Now our fifth and final tool is Topaz Photo AI, released in 2022. This program combines a variety of different AI powered tools into a single piece of software. But the one tool that I wanna focus on is the upscaling feature. A Couple of years ago, my cousin sent over this picture of the Roman Colosseum, which was taken at a whopping 640 by 360 pixels. And they asked me if I could improve it for printing. So I threw it into Photo AI, quadrupled the size, and then I just sat there in shock. I could not believe how good the final product was. It was literally pulling detail out of nothing. Here are a couple of other examples of how Photo AI was able to turn a low resolution preview into something much more detailed. Warning though, the AI processing algorithms in Photo AI work by using existing pictures to help determine what your enlargement should look like. And because thousands of people have already taken pictures of the Roman Colosseum, I would assume that the program is using all of that information to improve the quality. You might not have as much luck as I did here with something more obscure or less specific. Specific. So there you have it, five different tools that use artificial intelligence or AI to make you a better photographer. And if I can spend about 30 seconds adding my personal thoughts here, I think that the commonality between all five of these tools is that it is still very important to check your work. AI is revolutionizing photography and opening doors to new possibilities, changing the way that we see, create, and share pictures. But even as we embrace this technological evolution, we have to remember that AI is a tool and it's our creative vision that breathes life into a picture. Think about Imagine AI. Yes, it did a great job of replicating a specific look, but that specific look was 3,000 pictures determined by me. 3,000 pictures that I edited, which were then turned into some kind of formula or algorithm and replicated for future edits. But it's still my vision. With that being said, if we don't embrace these advancements and incorporate them into our work, we are not going to become better photographers. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more high value content just like this and I'll see you in the next video.